Okay, modelers say today we're going to do a bit of an in-box review of our A10 Thunderbolt 2 here. Now, this has got to be one of my favourite, if not my favourite aircraft. I love the look of this thing. It's just such a mean-looking thing. It's, it's one of the ones, it's like the Hind Chopper. It's so ugly that it's beautiful. I just absolutely love this thing. I've actually got two kits of this. Um, two, like they're both exactly the same kit. Now, I've also got a lot of accessories, which I'm going to show in this video. And I'm going to want to build one out of box and one with all the accessories and just to see the difference between the two where you spend probably more money on accessories than you do on the kit itself and compare what that comes out like compared to what the one out of box comes out like. Um, so to start off we're just going to go through the box and show you what's there and then I'm going to go into the aftermarket kit. Anyway as you see the box art absolutely beautiful. This thing ripping through a canyon you know, at, at low level. And everyone that knows that the A-10s, they're just one of those wicked aircraft. You can just imagine this thing ripping through a canyon and, you know, blasting this cannon with that brrrr. You know, that absolutely gorgeous. I love the box art on this. But I don't think I've seen a bad picture of an A-10 yet. Absolutely love these things. So really nice box art. <clears throat> As I say, this is the A-10A Thunderbolt 2, 48 scale from Interlary. Now, from what I've heard, this is probably not the best kit in the world but it's going to suffice for what I want to do and I got these for really really good prices uh, one of them I got second hand for I think it was $25 or something it's still in the box over there the other one um, I bought it on eBay and it came with some of the aftermarket stuff um, so that was a bit of a bargain it was all sort of thrown in with the aftermarket stuff so yeah I got both of them for good price so anyway as you see the box <coughs> typical little airy got our different languages here up here you'll see here's some different versions that we can build I'm not sure what versions I want to build I don't even know if I want to build two of the same version to show it off you know side by side with the aftermarket and that or do two different completely different versions I'm not sure yet um, I do have some aftermarket decals as well but if I want to do them both in that same one I'll have to buy another set but yeah we'll have to see uh, I might just do this one up here because it's as close as the aftermarket decal one as I can um, just to sort of show them off, but as you see, some really nice options there. You've got your plain one there, the one with the lightning bolt up the side, and the one with the camo pattern. So, a really nice little options there. They just come in the kit itself. So, right up, we shall open our box. It has been opened this one and get the lid off the other road there. Okay, oh, and actually, here's one of our aftermarket decal sheets that I was talking about. Um, I didn't mean to have these on top of here, I forgot they actually had them in this box, but I'll show you what they actually are. I'll take them into the packet here. Okay, so it's from two bobs, and as you can see, these are the, the options that you have. And I just love the look of this thing with the, the, the beautiful hog's teeth and stuff like that. And there's a couple of different versions you can do. Uh, they're both very, very similar. Um, just a couple of little bits of different art on there. But from what I've heard, really, really nice decal kits. And here's your, your top and bottom um, for your kits as well. And plus a couple little, you know, close-ups of different things where they've got to go. And your colour call-outs as well up the top here. But um, they look really, really nice. Looking at the decals themselves, they look absolutely beautiful. I just can't wait to see these things on the aircraft because they just look so wicked with these on it. Um, here's your little side, um, uh, what would you call them, nose art type things, but they're not actually on the nose. But um, they're different ones there for your different squadrons or whatever. Yeah, put that one on the side. And this is the decal sheet that comes with the actual kit, guys. And even looking at this, it's very, very nice. I, I can feel there is a bit of rays there, like they are. They're not really super smooth or anything like that, but they're not big, thick ones either. So these, I think, will sit down really, really nicely. And they do look really nice, guys. Uh, I can see the instrument panel decals here. I'm not sure if they're built into this kit, but we will see that as we go through it. But very, very nice decals there, guys. And our instructions. So what we'll do, I'll just put the box over to the side and we'll have a look at our instructions here. Uh, obviously, like always, you've got a little bit of a info here on the aircraft itself. We've got our sprue callouts here with the parts and what the sprue numbers are, stuff like that. We've got our colour callouts up here. Um, just yeah, you know, just your basic sort of call outs there, and then we've got the start of our build. Now, looking at the instructions here, this is very very simple. This first one, 
it's just got your instrument panel and it looks like it's blank and you've got to put the um, the decals on there to you know I don't think they stand out but we'll see the parts when we open it up and then your floor and then the two fuse last parts go to, together so very very basic as far as that goes and obviously the seat and all that must come up from underneath it and then we've got our looks like our landing gear bay here for the front the nose um, again looks really really nice and these are nice big clear instructions and here's our lead weight to weigh it down so she's not a tail sitter now I've built a 70 second scale of this thing and it's, it's a terrible tail sitter I put the weight in they recommended and it still sat on its bum so I had to put extra weight up in the wheel well and hopefully no one ever looks up underneath it because it looks awful but I'm um, always I'm going to put extra weight in there to make sure this thing is, is weighted down um, here's our seat our joystick and again these look like uh, our decals go onto the side panels here for a decal call out but I'll have to see if they're engraved or whatever on the actual part and then it goes up underneath the nose down here in this part then we go into our wings putting our wings together and these look to be fairly straightforward and I've got our flap insert in here as well which I think on the real aircraft I'll have to look at this to make sure but I think there's a different colouring in there, so if you want to have lowered flaps and stuff like that, you can put a different colour in there to make it pop out a little bit more. And I can't remember offhand, I think I've seen one with white or like a, an off-white colour inside those. Uh, then we've got our tails going together here, um, go together in a few pieces, so you know obviously you have to clean up the seams around those once they're together. And then we have our engines going together, intakes, exhaust, things like that all going together. They're fairly very basic, they're not there's no internals or anything like that, that all comes with aftermarket stuff but they go together in a couple of pieces, it's not overly complicated um, then that, the tail, your wings and your, your jets actually go on to the actual fuse layers, that all goes together and then the next part is all our flaps, as you can see up here, putting those together then putting those on this is where you'll be able to colour inside those if you want those coloured and then mask it off obviously uh, landing gear for the nose here, the wheel goes together in two parts uh, landing gear itself goes together in a couple of parts, you've got your clear parts on there which again you know it's up to you if you want to do those now or do them after and then we've got our, <coughs> our covers uh, that go over uh, there's our little hydraulic rams and things like that to go on there then we start doing our landing gear for the two side wheels up underneath the wings, they don't look too complex, so hopefully the detail is built into the plastic for these, but we'll see. And this is all this is all the front over here on your domes. Uh, very straightforward. Now here's the seat. This is what I was saying about there's not much detail inside it, but you put your seat together and it goes in after, obviously, here, and all the stuff behind the seat as well. So this is where you can put in some extra stuff, extra wiring stuff running up behind the seat. But looking at this, it looks like it's got some nice detail built in. It looks like seat belts are actually built into it. Um, but we'll look at that when we get into the parts. Um, canopy going together here. There's a few parts going on the inside of the canopy. Um, we'll look at the clear parts when we take out the packet to see how nice and crisp they are. And then we've got the nose with our cannon going on down here. Now everyone knows the cannon is probably one of the main parts of this aircraft. A beautiful looking piece of gear. Most of it's tucked away under the aircraft, you don't see it, but the, the nose that sticks out there, if you haven't got that on there, it's not an A10 as far as I'm concerned. Um, then we've got underneath, <coughs> just all exterior stuff going on. Um, these panels here can be left raised, I have seen this thing built up where people have those raised up, so you can see all the electronics going on in there as well. Same with this one up on this side. And our ladder going on. So you've got quite a few options here with panels that can be opened or closed, which is great to show off some beautiful detail if you want to add it. Then our weapon pods, weapons going together. Like most of them, they go together in two pieces, so there's a seam line that you have to go up. Um, heaps of options here, guys, because as you all know, the A-10s can carry a, a whole wide variety of stuff on them. Um, so there's a heap of different call-outs here for that sort of thing. And then you've got them going on to the aircraft. Now obviously those things will be painted separate before you stick them to the aircraft, otherwise it's going to be a nightmare trying to paint them on there. And then we've got our decal callouts here, just the, the standard ones, the common decals. Then we go into our pages with the different the different versions, okay. And I love the camo one, but also love this, this plain one too, if you see them with the weather, that grey up looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and 
again, the one with the lightning bolt stands out. Beautiful looking paint scheme on this. And as you can see, you've got your multicolors over it. Absolutely gorgeous aircraft. And again, another um, camo scan gun on there. And that's it for the instructions. So, it's not what you'd call a completely basic kit. It has got a bit to it. <coughs> and we'll start taking the stuff out of the packets here. Just give me a second to open this up. And I may have to get the camera out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here, guys. No problem with um, zooming out on the camera. You, should, you might not get to see some of the details. Just let me move it in a little bit. Uh, and then zoom it back out. Okay. So here we go, here we've got our wings on here. Now looking at the um, the panel lines on this, they do look maybe a little bit overdone. It's 48 scale, I know they are supposed to be a little bit more than the 70 second scale, but they do look maybe like they're a little bit overdone. But they're not severe like a <clears throat> like a 70s kit or anything like that. They don't look that bad. The rivets, again, look maybe a little bit severe, like they may be a little bit overdone. Um, but I think once this thing's painted up, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference unless you're really, really, um, you know, really, really fan fanatic about these things and, you know, you want to rescribe the panel lines and do your, redo your rivets and things like that. They don't look that bad. Um, but they are probably a little bit overdone, guys. But they, they're nicely moulded. I can't see any flash. There's no injector pin marks on the outside. I'd say, yeah, they're all on the inside. Okay, and next one here. Flip them over, see what we've got here. Now these are up underneath the nose here, obviously. We've got our tails going together. Um, we have got parts of our instrument panel on here as well. Landing gear looks really nicely done. There is a bit of a seam line, and I can see a couple little bits of flash in places that'll have to be cleaned up on those, but they're not too bad. Now here's our cannon. Now that looks a little bit... Mm, I mean, it's, it's not terrible but it probably can do with a little bit of work and I see a bit of flash on that it's not overly bad um, it's something we can work with now looking at the inside the landing bays here they've got all the beautiful hydraulic stuff going on and all the hose and things it looks really really nice so housing for our gun up here looks really nice now here's where our decals will have to go in for the instrument panel now that's not raised it's just flat so it'll have to be decals once the canopy's on it and closed up you're probably not going to see it that much anyway but it's just a shame that they don't give you the option in this kit uh, with the raised actual you know, gauges and stuff. You can paint them up. Um, but everything's really, really nicely moulded on here. Like I say, there's a couple of couple of bits look like maybe a little bit thick and overdone. Um, and a few little bits of flash, but it's not too bad. Again, I can't see any injector pin marks on the wrong side of things, so it's not too bad. And let's open this bag up now. Okay, yeah, clear parts. I don't want to take these out of the plastic, guys, because I want to keep them protected as long as I can. But they look quite nice. They don't look to be that distorted sort of look in the plastic at all. They look to be quite nice. Um, actually, this bag's already open, so I will take them out, guys. Um, okay, now looking at that once they're out of the bag, they do have a little bit of a distorted look to them. So once we give them a dip in the in, uh, future, I think that'll that'll bring that up. Looking at the front panel here, that's not too bad, um, but the sides here, a little bit, little bit distorted looking, but um, not too bad. It's nice and defined where the edges are, where framework and that is, so that should be quite, quite good to mask up. I'll just slip that back in the plastic so it doesn't get damaged. And here we go with the beautiful fuselage on this thing. Um, again, 48 scale. I expect it to be a little bit heavier than 72nd, but. It does look to be maybe a little bit overdone and the texture on the surface is not glass smooth which you don't want on this aircraft it's not a glass smooth aircraft um, it has got a little bit of texture to it when you see it but it looks like it might be again a little bit overdone uh, and it looks to be more on the fuselage than anywhere else but it's not too bad again the see seat here it has got the seat belts built into it uh, looking at the housings around our jets really nice and and see the rivets are actually raised on this, which is, I actually like that because they're not they're not meant to be inserted those ones. Um, but quite nice. There's no injector pin marks in the wrong places. They're all on the insides, which is nice. A little bit of flash I can see that will have to be taken care of. But um, I'll, I'll just show you as an example up on the hopefully you can see up on the side of that. There's a bit of flashing in there. It's just things like that that have to be taken care of. And our last packet here, guys. This one here is for our um, 
can see the inserts for our jets. We've got our, all our weapons on here. So the weapons, again, they look like they're really nicely moulded. And these aren't overdone, guys. These, these look quite nice. Well, I can see a couple up here that may be a little bit overdone, but they're not terrible. Um, the actual mounts themselves look really nice with all the rivets and on there. And the wheels, the tyres look really nice. Um, the tyres have got the flat spot on, on the bottom, so when you put them on, make sure they're sitting down on that. But again, it looks really, really nice, guys. Um, so I'll put all this quickly back in the packet, and I'll turn the video back on when I get all the accessories out, and we'll start going through the accessories. So the kit first off. upgrade kit I've got is the A10 decal set, uh, detail set, and this comes from Italy themselves. Now, as you can see on the box here, it shows you what the add-ons are. And remember we were saying when we went through the kit that the, uh, the instrument panels um, had to be decals? Well, this has actually got the add-ons for those. So if you bought the Big Ed interior set, some of it's going to be wasted because you either can't use these or you can't use those, which I actually have got over there. Um, but we're going to go through this kit here. We're also going to go through, now this one here is the flight path one. Now what this is, is the, um, the mechanised ammunition loader for the big cannon at the front of it. Yeah, this thing is a wicked looking piece of gear. There's some photos inside this to show you what it is. Um, it basically loads up all the um, the uh, ammunition belts inside into the aircraft. Um, so it's a whole machine just on its own. It's a very, very complex and detailed kit. But we will go through that in this video. And the other thing I have over here is the Big Ed set. Now, I'm not sure um, if you've bought Big Ed sets before, you know what they are. But a big head set is all the Edward add-ons, the interior, the exterior, the whatever they've got. They put anything for that aircraft all goes into the one set. Now this one here has got the exterior, the interior, and then it's got also like extra ones, like extra little bits and pieces that are all over the aircraft. Um, the 48 scale for this specific kit. And that's very complex just on its own, but we'll also go through that and show you what's inside that. Um, the first thing we'll do though is we will go through the Italeri set. And as you can see here, we've got our um, engines, uh, cockpit, um, some of the landing bay stuff, and you can see the detail on the engines in here. And we've got the cannon. How beautiful is that? So if you want to have this thing posed outside so you can see it, it's even got the ammunition belts and all that sort of stuff. A lot of little resin parts in this. But we will open it up, and I think this one's already been opened. Yes, it has, luckily. And we should pull it all out and have a bit of a look here. Okay, that's everything. And that's all our parts. And the first page here on the instructions just shows you, just ignore the stuff in the background, that's what I'm working at the moment. But this one here shows you all the parts that are actually inside this set, okay? And then it goes through your step by step how to put them together. Now the instrument panel. I love the look of this, it's like the Edward, you've got the backing set which is the original part, then you've got the film that goes in and then the plate over the front. So this is going to be very, very nice and then it looks like there's the photo edge part that folds up over the top of that as well. Um, we've got our seat belts, so obviously you'll have to grind off or sand off the ones that are on the original seat and put those on. We've got the interior of our canopy there as well, the back and the front canopy parts. Then we've got our detail sets for our engine. Now these are obviously the resin inserts. Now these are one of those things guys, you, you're not really sure how well these are going to fit until you actually start putting the thing together and see how well they're going to go in there. But um, these are the original parts that go clamp on around it and hopefully you'll be able to have a hatch open and show you inside. Um, and this shows you what it looks like inside. These are the hatches that you'll have open so you can see that beautiful detail inside there. And here's our cannon going together. And it obviously comes in a few different pieces, obviously resin parts, and it looks like it's really, really nicely detailed, guys. Some beautiful detail going on there. Um, resin always, you always get some nice detail on resin. It's very, very tricky though to work with. You, you've got to be careful. It's brittle. It can break. Um, it normally comes on blocks, which I'll show you when we get to those parts. That you have to take it off without breaking the parts. Um, we've got our dolly wheels on here for the the set. So this, this here is where the cannon goes onto the little dolly wheel set and you can have it sitting underneath the aircraft. So it's out of the aircraft and you can actually see the thing. And we've got a few parts here for underneath, like, like obviously I'd say these are our photo etch parts, which it looks like they are, I can see them on the set there. They go on the outside and on our tail wings there. And some underneath 
and some on the edge of the tiles and that's it. Okay, now I got that thrown in with the kit when I bought it. Now here's our photo etch set here and you can see our, our um, instrument panels and they look absolutely gorgeous, they're absolutely beautiful. And these are the inserts that go on around the outside, around the tiles and that. And here's the pieces that go inside our canopies and our seat belts are stuck in the middle of that. Um, very, very detailed, very, very nice. Over here we have these, oh, these are our engine insert. And I'm just looking at the detail. With resin you can get some beautifully fine detail. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. The, um, the cabling and wiring work and that is absolutely superb. So once this is painted up and dry brushed, it's going to look beautiful. But like I was saying with resin, see how it comes on that big thick block underneath? You're going to have to take that off without taking any of the original part off. Now that means you need some sort of grinder or some sort of tool to do that with. Doing it with a saw or doing it by sanding it off, it'll take you forever and a day. So that's one of those things I'll show you when we go through and do the build. And over here, here's our machine gun. Now this looks absolutely beautiful guys. The, the big nose cannon in this thing is absolutely beautiful. And looking at the ammo belts, the barrels for the main gun. Remember I was saying the original kit part down here on the nose where it actually pokes out looked very, very plain. It's beautiful on this, absolutely beautiful. But again, you can see everything's loaded on these blocks and will have to be taken off and cleaned up. And there is a couple of little seams on there too that'll have to be cleaned up as well. And lots of flashing, resin parts always have bits of flashing on them. Over here we have, this is our dolly setup. And this looks beautiful, it's got the nice mesh pattern in here. The wheels look superb, they've got some nice detail built into them. Uh, but again, <clears throat> they sit on big blocks guys. The blocks have to be taken off to um, make this thing stand out. But that is a great, great option. Okay, so looking at this already, I think I'm going to have to build two aircraft. One with the Italeri set, and the other one with the other sets separate again. Um, because I'm not going to be able to use the ammunition loader with this gun out of the aircraft. Unless I have it sitting to the side, maybe ready to load it, and this thing's out getting maintenance at the side. But <clears throat> I'll sort of see that as I go through it, and I'll work out what I want to do as I go through the first build. But that's our first set, guys, the Italeri set. Now the next one, this thing here is the flight path, the um, mechanised or machinised ammunition loader with the ammunition cart. Okay, now this thing here is absolutely beautiful. Now I've had this open and I've had a look through it already. As you can see, I've got the packets out there. And I'll show you the instructions just to show you how detailed this thing is, guys. Open it up. Just give me a second here, guys, to open this right out. There's so much in this, there's pages and pages of this, guys. <clears throat> okay, so none of these, it's not like a booklet or anything like that, but it shows you in here. Now, this is all photo etch, <clears throat> except for a few parts there, which are your cast parts, okay, your cast steel parts. And there's a few of those, which are wheels, um, your hoist arms and things like that, but most of it is photo etch. So you'll need some decent photo etch tools to do this. But this thing's going to build up beautiful. And as you can see, there's lots of detail. Now, if you ever get one of these flight path sets, or well, any photo etch set, but mainly these flight path ones, go through the instructions, read them carefully, go through one step at a time, really look at every little part, because there is so much in these guys, it, and you can get it wrong so easily. And they're not as detailed as looking at the instructions for the actual aircraft. These things are just very basically drawing, showing you what parts go on there. Sometimes they don't even show you how to bend the parts up. Okay, so that's our first page. Second page here, as you can see, this continues on. It's got all these little details going there. Again, it doesn't show you how to bend them or anything like that. It just shows you the parts in place. So what you've got to look at is the part on the, on the actual sprue itself. Work out how to get that shape once you bend it. Okay, normally the, the parts themselves will have lines on there where they need to be bent. Now here's some actual photos to help you out. And as you can see, this thing is an absolutely beautiful looking piece of gear. It's going to be sitting next to the aircraft. Absolutely gorgeous. The reason I bought this is because it's, even on its own without the aircraft, beside, this is such a wicked looking bit of gear with all that, those bullets in there. It's just unbelievable. And again, this carries on and on. There's all these little parts that keep going on and on. Again, here it's got hints and tips on the back page. 
um, to do the soldering on the big main parts. I actually recommend to do soldering where you can because it's much finer work. Uh, doing it with super glue, it's very, very brittle and you can break things very easy. Especially when you start seeing this thing go together, it's going to be absolutely so finely detailed. It will be really easy to break parts off it if they're just super glued on there finely. So if you can actually solder them on there, it's better to solder them. But anyway guys, that gives you an idea what's in that set as far as instructions go. But now I'll show you the actual parts themselves. I'll say that we've got all these white cast parts. Here's their wheels, some beautiful detail on those, all the rivets and things on there. Um, here's all the other little bits and pieces, I'll pull them out. I can't tell you what exactly a lot of these are, but they look like um, hydraulic arms and things like that. Um, some of your mainframe stuff that holds it together. Now these things, when you get these white parts, you'll see there's a seam running up there. All these will have a seam that have to be cleaned up. You can do it with file and sandpaper, this stuff's fairly soft. Be very careful handling this because you can bend it very, very easy. Okay, and there's quite a bit of that in there. So what I'll do, I'll try and get most of it out of the road, up on the top part of the lid here, so I can lift up the actual photo edge parts. Oh, there's so many little bits and pieces in here, guys. I think that's about it. And I'll try and get my fingers in here. Oh, maybe not, I've got big fat fingers, so doesn't help when you're building fine stuff sometimes I can tell you guys. Okay, here's our first sheet. Now as you can see there's what one, two, three, four sheets and they're all pretty much like this. Very, very fine details. All these little bits and pieces, they're all numbered. They'll be the instructions. But again, go through it very, very carefully when you're doing it. So anyway guys, that's that part of it. And the next part is the big head set. I'm going to have to change the battery over this camera is running low I can see at the moment. So I'll change the battery over and we'll go on to the last part, the big headset. Okay, and the last part guys is our big headset. Now a big headset, like I was saying before, it's got your interior, exterior, normally your weapon loadouts, all sorts of different bits and pieces. We've already got this one open and again like the flight path, you've got to follow the instructions very, very carefully in these because you can get it wrong. Um, you've got to have a little bit of now with photo etch to use one of these because they normally do have lots and lots of detail and lots of different types of ways to use photo etch and you can get it wrong and you can stuff it up and these are not cheap um, so if you get one you, you really want to take the time and utilize as much as you can to give your armor or your aircraft or whatever it is for as much detail as you can so this one's already open i just want to show you the front on the back here it shows you what sort of detail it's going to add like it's got your fins inside your engine, um, all your parts for your seat. Now these things here normally get built up in layers, so if you get them wrong, the wrong layers, it, it just screws everything up. So read your instructions very, very carefully. Lots of interior stuff. This will have the instrument panels and things like that as well. Um, but you know, just as showing you from different models, like some of this is armor, you know, like your etch sets for your your um, Zimmerit finishes and things like that. So it's just showing you. That it, it's very very detailed stuff so anyway guys like I say this one's open I'll just pull everything out here so we can go through and have a look at everything just give me a second to make sure I get everything out and like I say they come in a flat pack guys because it's all photo etched stuff now the first thing that's great about these is your mask now these these masks are die cut so they will fit perfectly over your canopies um, I, won't, I won't really worry about taking it out but your instructions here show you what parts go where sort of thing. Very, very easy to follow. But just take your time. Normally they've got it for the canopy and they also, I can see this one's got it for the wheels as well. So very, very great. But just awesome to do your masking rather than, you know, putting tape over and then trimming it out. Now this one here is the exterior set. <coughs> Pull it out. Get our instructions, which is normally between the two sheets here, like so. Now these... These sets are very, very complex. Okay, now it shows you the main part, like here, your landing gear. Normally the part that's greyed out is the part you have to trim off, and that's where your photo etch part will go. Most times I'll show you how to fold these parts up. Sometimes they don't, they just show you the shape and where it's got to go. But again, just read these instructions one step at a time, very, very carefully. If you've got to do cylinder parts like this one here, uh, make sure you've got the tools to do that because it's really hard to roll cylinders 
you know, just by hand they end up like little flat parts and things like, like that. Um, get something nice and round at the right diameter and roll it around. But when I do this build guys, I'll go through lots of this photo edge stuff. Now, a lot of this stuff is up underneath your landing base. You'll have a lot of detail to go up underneath here. And in a lot of builds, you don't get to see that. Because I've got so much detail with this set and I've spent so much on the details, what I'm going to do is have this sitting on a mirror so you can see it right up underneath the uh, the detail lock in the landing bays and things like that just to really show this aircraft off. This is like a long term build. This is not something you're going to build in a couple of days or even in a week. This is going to be weeks and months. So that's just to show you what, the, what goes on inside these. And like I say, read every step very, very carefully. Read it over and over a few times before you even try and put things together just to make sure you don't stuff it up. The actual parts themselves, like I say, this one here is the exterior. You can see, even in that packet, just how fine some of this stuff is. Very, very fine. You can see your wiring cable, they'll go onto your, I'd say that'll be your landing gear cabling. Um, you've got some mesh things here. Very, very fine. All your rivet detail is so, so fine. Now, one of the things I find with using these sets, you'll put this on there, and next to the rivets that are on the plastic, they don't match because this has got such fine river detail and the kit itself normally hasn't got it. Um, you, you can ignore it and go over it and just paint it the way it is and you, you don't pick it up unless you're really looking for the detail. But um, if you're going to go to this much trouble, a lot of people sand out the river detail and put new riveting detail in there. But that's just an idea. Then that's the exterior one. And this one here has got the interior. As you can see, we've got instrument panels. Again, when I open this up, this is the inside of our canopy. When I open this up, it'll be the same as the last one. The instructions will be in between two plastic cards there. And it's very, very detailed. Make sure you read the steps one at a time. But guys, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff to go into this build. Um, I'm not sure if I can use it all in one build, or I'm going to have to do two separate builds. Um, and use some of the detail in one build and some of the detail. What, what I really want to do is have one completely out of box and one with all the detail added. But I'm going to have to go through and sort of work out how I'm going to actually work this out. But anyway guys, that's a bit of an in-box in review and a bit of a de detailed set review of all the stuff you can do with this 48 scale A10. Anyway guys, as usual, thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.